Hello, I'm Brian Jorgensen with JMT. We're going to go over a JMT IW110 iron worker, 120 tons US. The BTD stands for the um, extended throat depth. It's a 24 inch throat depth on this machine. Um, 100 ton, 120 tons punching. What that means is you can punch an inch and a half hole through one inch mild steel plate. As you can see here, we have gauging and we have a work table on this as standard. Um, right here, as you can see, our structural die block. You can see the unique design here. If we remove this wedge block, we actually can do C-channel and I-beam the flange and um, webs on them. As we move back here, another feature of this machine is it has an angle shear. The angle shear is capable of six inch by half inch angle at a 90. At 45 degrees, it's three inch by quarter, left and right cuts. We got our flat bar shear. It can do 24 inches of 5 eighths or 16 inches of 3 quarter inch plate. We got our um, solid round and solid square cutting. Uh, both of those are 2 inch. On the back side of the iron worker we have our Culper Notcher. It's 2 inches wide by 3 and a half inches deep. Capable of cutting half inch material, mild steel. As you can see that we have a um, table back here. This machine comes standard with our gauging tables all around the machine. Uh, another cool feature that comes standard is we have electric back gauge. What that allows us to do is we have a button right here that hits a switch. When it hits that, it automatically cycles this back into the sh um, iron worker to shear off. We have a piece that's 30 feet um, essentially, pushing into it, cutting to whatever lengths that we need to. Very fast and efficient way to cut material. Produce a lot of parts very quickly. One of the key features of this machine I want to point out is this is a dual cylinder machine. What that means is I can have two operators on this iron worker. I have one punching holes. I can have one on the shearing end working at the same time. That allows us to do more production, more parts through our shop without any hold up. Now we're going to demonstrate the punch end. Um, we're going to punch a one inch hole through three quarter inch mild steel plate. This machine's a high speed. It's got dual um, position foot pedal. What that means is I got a low position when I push softly. That means it's slow and it's also low pressure. I can actually mark where I want to punch before I actually punch through my material. And this machine at high speed can do 28 strokes per minute, three quarter inch strokes. And if you notice how quiet this machine is as it's punching through this thicker material, that all attests to how strong the frame is on this machine and the high quality steel they use on this. Good clean holes not deforming our material as it's punching, as you can tell. Now we're gonna demonstrate cutting a left and right 45 degree cut. This is a um, two inch, quarter inch thick angle. see here you can almost not even see the, the cut line in the material almost matches up I mean it matches up perfect as far as the way it was cut there's no been it's not been bent or burred just want to show you how you clean it cuts you can just kind of line these up and you can see how you could just weld these up and make a whole box. Very useful. Okay, I just wanted to point out on this electric back gauge, you can actually notice how I tilted it down. The reason for this, when I hit the material, I want when after it's done cutting the material to fall out so I can just keep pushing material into it. 
I'm gonna demonstrate it cut in two pieces. Did you notice on this machine, it has a floating blade. What that means is, is that blade, it can actually pivot and the blade actually finds the center of the angle before it shears through it. A lot of iron workers are fixed. So if it does um, catches the side of it, it's actually gonna distort and burr and bend your angle iron. As you can see right here how clean of a cut that is. We're gonna cut an inch and a half solid round. This kit is capable of two inch. And the closer you match, like if you're a two inch piece, the cleaner it's gonna cut. You can actually get blades that'll match the inch and a half, the less um, the cleaner cut's gonna be on the iron worker. Um, we're gonna demonstrate cutting a three quarter inch mild steel 12 inches long. And I want to point out our top blade has actually got a curve to it. Why that's critical is, as this is coming down, it keeps that blade flat as possible as it's cutting our material so our metal stays flat as we're cutting it so it doesn't get a pigtail in it. clean cut. Now I'm going to demonstrate our copper notcher here in the back. One thing I want to mention is this machine's got high speed hydraulics and a dual um, position foot pedal. I can push lightly and it's slow. I push hard and it speeds up. As you can tell, this allows me to line up where I want to cut. Very useful, standard once again on our machine. I always want to leave this down. It's a flat surface, people will put material there, screwdrivers, whatever. We don't want to damage a person or our machines.